You can't see me, right? I'm so embarrassed. How could I send those emails to my clients? So foolish. Leave myself wide open to trouble. I didn't even know. <sighs> Shoot. I still might be breaking the rules. Honestly, I don't even know what the rules are. It's sad, isn't it? I see this story all the time. Realtors leaving the information about brokerage services out of their emails, websites, and social media. Hi, I'm Kenny Young, trainer for the Austin Board of Realtors. According to Texas law, the information about brokerage services, or IEBS, serves to notify consumers about a broker's minimum duties required by law. Put simply, this has to be provided to every client the first time you talk to them concerning a specific piece of real estate, whether they are a buyer, seller, tenant, or a landlord. It's important to understand exactly what their rules are around the IEBS and what could happen if your IEBS is not completed correctly. I ask real estate lawyer Joe Babb to explain. Since Texas law requires all brokers and sales agents to provide written notice regarding information about brokerage services at the first substantive communication with prospective buyers, tenants, sellers, and landlords concerning specific real property, if you're not complying, you could be caught or reported in any number of ways. By other agents you're dealing with, by consumers, or even by Trek if they happen to run across your communications while investigating another matter. If you're caught, it's possible you'll just receive a warning. The Trek has no obligation to be lenient and has the authority under the Texas Real Estate License Act to suspend or revoke your license for any violation. Even if you just receive a warning the first time, it is a hassle you do not need or want to distract you from your business. Repeated violations will be viewed dimly by Trek, and you may be endangering your livelihood. Don't risk it. Wow, that's serious. Thanks, Joe. Don't let legal pitfalls threaten your business. Here's what you can do to sleep easy at night. One, complete the information about brokerage services form. Linking to a blank IEBS, which I see far too often, is a violation. Two, link to your IEBS. Linking to the IEBS your broker has online is also insufficient. Three, include your IEBS on your email, your website, your business's Facebook page, anywhere and everywhere else you advertise online. Be sure to check with Trek for more details. And remember, don't risk it.